right so hey guys in this video i'm going to teach you on how to fix your white screen with cursor on windows 11 so it's a very simple process let's go straight into it so what you're going to do is if you have a white screen with just your mouse you're just going to go to your keyboard and hold control shift and escape that should open tax manager if it doesn't alternatively you can hold control alt and delete and then select task manager from there so once task manager is open you can just click on run task okay and then just type in explorer.exe okay and then click on ok and everything should be back okay if it's not what you're going to do is you're going to open your task manager again by holding control shift and escape okay and then run a new task and run regidit r-e-g-i-d-t okay and click on ok this should open registrator click on yes okay so here we are open multiple folders right here sorry about that okay so we are going to go into our h key local machine double click on that go into software double click on that and then go into microsoft under software double click on that okay under microsoft you're going to search for windows nt which should be at the bottom okay windows nt double click on that and under windows nt you have current version double click on that once in current version you're going to search for windows logon okay just single click on that and that should uh open all of these files right here when you single click on it left click and you should have something called shell which says explorer.exe so if you don't if it doesn't say explorer.exe right here just double click on it and you can change the value data to explorer.exe okay and click on okay and you should have it here if you don't have anything even called shell just going to right click on any empty space go into new go into string value okay and then here double click on it name it shell and add the value data as explorer exe only do that if you don't have anything called shell okay if you do just edit the shell right here the value data so that's all you can just close this restart your computer make sure you restart your computer for everything to take changes and your windows should be back to normal so that's all for this video guys and yeah thanks for watching peeps